I, I, I definitely side with him. He's, he's their ace player. Uh, PBT, not his best matchup, but still, I mean, pretty solid. Here's reality, six and six. One and three, he was one of the Terrans who was struggling during the era of Protoss uh, towards the beginning of Pro League. Um, you know, he's, he's no TY, he's no Maru, uh, you know, no Byung. You know, those players actually made a uh, you know, quite a name for themselves destroying Protoss in a time of Protoss dominance. Uh, reality wasn't that guy. Yeah. He was more known for his uh, TBZ and his mech. It's true. Here's Super on a two-game losing streak, but still has those three wins behind him. He's 12 and nine. Uh, definitely the player that MVP relies on a lot in the East matches. Could see him come out twice. It's, it's happened before. Yeah, honestly, without DRG here, I think he would be their ace match player at this point. Yeah. But uh, yeah, very, very strong player. Definitely the, the strongest, the, kind of like the carry for the team, I feel, when I look at this team and his results. Yeah, that's true. Well, this is it, man. If Super takes a win, Samsung is in big trouble. Reality needs this win for his team. He needs to force the ace match. Let's jump into what could be the last game of the night on Outboxer. Up here in the top left, an outboxer in the pink, Samsung Galaxy Con, it's reality. And down here, the bottom right, formerly known as Vampire, he's super for MVP. Wish he was still Vampire. Yeah, we talked about this last time. We do. I, I think I'm like always going to bring it up, guys, because I, that's how <laughs> passionate I am about it. I think Super's okay. Like, I, I guess I'm the minority here. I just... I don't know, Brent, I mean, I'm glad I, I, I get this feeling like... Uh, wait, hold that thought. He traveled from California, America to see my first Pro League match live. Super excited. StarCraft forever. And thank you so much for coming. And uh, super excited, uh, an appropriate term here, <laughs> as we have Super now playing. But, uh, wait, I, I would think you're from Transylvania with how serious you are about hey, this, man. I like vampires. Maybe not like the Twilight kind of vampires, but I like. I'm, I can appreciate a good vampire. Count Glade over what, here, what man. Makes a, what makes a good vampire? Yeah, what makes a good vampire versus a bad vampire? Like a badass vampire that's... I don't know, have you ever Not seen the vampire from my mom's dating a vampire. Do, do they have a cloak? <laughs> have you seen the anime Helsing by any chance? No. No. Okay, you need to Google that sometime. And sure, you, That's sure. the kind of vampire I like. That's a badass vampire. Okay, what I mean, like, describe him to me. Dracula, but, like... Dracula's like a, a badass like vampire? the real Dracula. The real Dracula. Like you think So you think Dracula is real? <laughs> no, I mean, like, <laughs> the one that should be real, okay? <laughs> so The so cool you, one. <laughs> So, so we've confirmed. Google thinks vampires are real now. In fact, yeah, I believe in them. Okay. Didn't haven't you seen Sesame Street? Yeah. Count. Uh, yeah. But that was actually a Muppet. That's my favorite vampire. Yeah, he's pretty badass. He's my favorite <laughs> vampire actually as he's well. He's good at counting. Yeah, he is. That's how I learned to count, guys. Yeah, I used him a lot actually. Because um, I, my myself, not very good at counting. Aren't you? Also, sometimes bad at colors. But, yeah, uh, colors. You're, you're, you're colorblind, right? Well. Uh, somewhat, um, not not like full on, full on, but like I do have some problems sometimes with colors. Baseball is yeah. blue. Yeah, I always thought it was purple. But, uh, really? Yeah, I thought it was purple for a long time. Yeah, like what, to what me, actually, like to me, like the the units, like the blue for uh, supers units on the unit tab, like um, you know, like the blue on the command center and the blue on the barracks, like it kind of looks a little bit purple to me. Well, it's got purple background, like kind of outlines. Yeah, yeah. I mean, like the actual barracks though themselves, kind of okay. look purple to me. All right. Like purple, not like lavender purple, like the one below. But uh, anyways, we have a CC first here, followed up by a quick a Nexus uh, with one gas, actually. So very gritty play. I created out uh, Stalker 2 to kind of deny any more scouting before the tech actually goes down for the Protoss, which is uh, seems to be kind of the trend on this map. We do see a lot of uh, scout denying, especially. He still hasn't taken that gas. OK, I was getting concerned. The SCB is lurking around about that because yeah, he, we could, he doesn't want to run into a two base. One gate, two gate, three <laughs> gates. Ah, ah, ah. Exactly. You don't, <laughs> don't want to deal with any of that. Oh, we see three racks. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, what does that mean, guys? Ow. 
Then we're gonna see a lot more Marines, a lot more buyers. This early. has been coming back actually a lot after CC first. Um, I am actually not the biggest fan of it. Well, I, I mean, it kind of gets it kind of gets shut down by uh, food on overcharge. Yeah, I like yeah. faster Marauders. Do build out the Marauder count faster. You also get behind in tech, like. It's a build that like, oftentimes builds a really strong army for the mid game because you have a lot of Marines and it's a solid cop it can hold off almost anything it's very safe mm. um, and it can you know bait a lot of overcharges but you're usually not going to get a whole lot of damage done with it it's a very you know it's like kind of like building a comp more than anything else yeah. this bunker actually is not quite finishing over here that stalker is stalker doesn't want to deal with it doesn't want to kill it off just a bit of harassment here any damage he gets done means the marines will be for later until medivacs come out yeah they don't recover shields like the Stalker does. Yeah, nice little harassment there. Ooh, Twilight, Twilight. Council, two more gates. Could be Blink. This is a great map for Blink, actually. Yep. Yeah, we were we talking about this about earlier. That, yeah. Oh, Scan gets it there. And he, he sees fakes it. it. Oh, no, he's, it's real. It's, it's legit. <laughs> he chrono before he queued Blink, but you know. He's just that confident in Blink, so he's like, yeah, you can see it coming. Doesn't, um, doesn't matter. Well, let's see, man. Let's see how many gates he goes into. Could let's be a mistake. Do the count. Could be a mistake considering it is three racks, and this might be the very reason he's going three racks is because Blink Stalker is so popular on this map. So if you can kind of get out the bio, that is enough to trade efficiently with them and, and kill them. However, with a low Marauder count, uh, the Stalkers do very well against Marines that are outside of bunkers. Yeah, that is true. And they, the stim they, is they very range. late here too. Mm -hmm. Like stim is going to be done after Blink. You know, that's that's mm -hmm. how the the Pros wants it to be. He's going Robo here, though, so it's not going to be an all-in. It's just going to be yeah. a, a timing to, to be a little bit aggressive and then also to just transition to hold off drop play. He's yeah. also got no pylon over there, so he's just pressuring at the front. His his Twilight was scouted, so, you know, get the upgrade because you already committed. It's useful for defensively as well, and just uh, let it go otherwise, you know. Just don't commit here. I like it. Maybe yeah. force some bunkers. Bunkers being added right now as we speak. You can see on the production tab. Always very useful to have blinked, especially to deal with drops. And this map is kind of great for drops, considering the airspace between the main and the natural and the third. No poke there. It's a lot of buyer. Could definitely see uh, a good timing from this. At least, at least some pressure on that natural of the Protoss while he goes into Colossus. Yeah, if he plays two Timon here, that's exactly how the Protoss gets ahead. That's why this build is so strong and uh, why it was so feared by Terrans. Not because of the all-ins that killed them from time to time, but because it's so hard to actually prepare uh, for the all-in, and then even if you are prepared and he just doesn't do it, you're like, well, mm. okay, now what, you know? Uh, now I'm behind. Mm. Yeah. Well, the blink is done. Robo Bay, Robo Bay on the way. And he's got an observer here. He's got a group of five stalkers. One more than enough that you need to kill an SCV. So if he wants to blink into the main and try to do some damage, could do that, but can be risky, of course. Especially with these units lurking yeah. around. Also, we're, we're seeing uh, no upgrades whatsoever, kind of just going straight into Colossus, kind of like we saw yesterday from Parting as well. This could be very much a standard on this map, considering the third base is a lot harder to hold. They, they want to go into that tech that can kind of deal with bio a lot easier. Resistance on this map isn't too far either, so you could be planning on being aggressive with this, mm. um, like Parting did. You know, not an all in. Parting actually just caught Flash totally with his pants down and won that game, but I, he was just planning on being a little bit aggressive while he took his third. He was not planning to win the game with it. Yeah. And I think we might see something very similar here. This is that group of stalkers you're talking about, but be careful. This is his opportunity to say, oh, you're moving out right now. Let me see if I can backstab you here. But there's enough units in the main. I don't think it's the right choice here to jump in. Three more gates added, so you can very well see a timing from this. Four more. Four, Four more. Doing some damage, forcing some of that energy out of the medevacs. Five more down. gateways. Five gate. uh, 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 uh. <laughs> and the harass over here going to stop this commander. Actually going to force a cancel potentially. Yep. Yeah. Straight up. Ouch. But I mean, Stolk is really out of position. Could definitely see some aggression here from reality. Looks like he wants to put on the pressure. Very exposed. Colossus. About to be two Colossi with range. But yeah, that first Colossus was way up in the front. Needs to get back. I think he has now gone back to the natural. Okay, let's see. Stalker's on their way home as well. Actually, could could be intercepted here. Mm, Got the blink past. Blink past. Get that Marine. <laughs> Backseat playing from Wolf here. Yeah. All right, so he got the Marine, but uh, let's see. I mean, this is not a whole lot of bio anymore for him no. to worry about. And he's moving across with a lot of gates. 
Uh, all he needs is a forward pylon. But I mean, at the same time, we, we still got reality coming down the left as well. So we're going to see maybe a drop into the natural as well as some aggression to the main. I think he just wanted to trap those bio units, and if he could do it, he would have been feeling pretty good, but he, he misses it. Warping oh, here in the main. Very I think nice it's enough. Warping. Oh, yeah. Perfect. But yep. I don't know about that natural. The natural is, is the, the points right here. That big drop in here, two medevacs. All right, he's actually just going to go for it. He's going for the attack. He's ignoring the drop. The Colossus needs to be micro down there. And he does micro. This is actually enough to hold the Nexus. And this is so much Protoss over here. Only one bunker, which isn't even full. And he's not even repairing it. Those oh. time warps were shift queued there. <laughs> wow. And uh, this Bioforce may eventually be eliminated here in the main. And there's just too much Protoss here. And he's actually struggling here. That's he's, a lot of bio. He can't get down the ramp. He's really struggling, but I think he will hold. Colossal being micro back. The SCVs are so helpful here. SCVs so good. There's no zealots to tank, and now those Colossi are going to be all alone. No protection. Natural gone down. Oh, man. Oh, this is actually looking pretty good for reality now. Now he's going to bring this Colossus over here. The probes escaping death for now. Is there a blink? Doesn't matter. Gets the medevac anyways. So where do we stand? Reality has eight SCVs, but of yeah. course you just have those mules. Yeah. I think actually the play for Super might just to be the follow-up push. Um, it looks like it. his economy is not going to be recoverable. It's going to take way too long. Mules are fine. And this is almost pure Marauder, though, so attacking into this is going to be almost... It's going to be very, very It's going to be very difficult. Three Vikings can kind of deal with one Colossus, too. A few more medevacs to come out and help and heal. Yeah, I think reality should actually be fine, but this is a lot of force fields. Zealots as well. And the Vikings need to target right away. They're actually not participating now. The Colossus starts to do damage. Good force fields here. The Zealots, though, now need to move back. And that Colossus isn't enough stalkers. The answer is yes, but the rest of the Zealots are gone. And he defends for long enough to get those medevacs out for more healing. And additional Marauders three at a time are being produced. See some poking here, he's got to be so careful because this Marauders can stim in at any time and kill this Colossus. That Colossus is so important, he can't afford to make another one as well, so... Yeah. Nice catch on some of those units coming out, but a nice uh, concave. A lot of bio here, he stims and runs through. The Colossus is not targeting the units properly, he's fighting one Marauder at a time with that. I think this is actually just going to be it. He targets the Colossus, we'll get the Stalkers as well, uh, and we're going to an ace match it looks like here. No Nexus back at home. And no army to speak of. Super looks defeated. GG. We're going to an ace match. Reality has done it. The casters were right. You know, I was feeling it, man. I actually almost, I almost voted for him. Yeah. On this map, very a, good player. It was a great anti timing with those double drops into the natural and main. While the Protoss was out of just been trying to go for that Colossus timing, like completely, completely shut him down. Did so much damage. Well. Uh, this is uh, going to be a pretty fun ace match. I don't know who I would predict for it, honestly. It's going to be on Overgrowth, so Zerg, like Roro. Roro, most likely to come out. I think it's going to be Roro. But who? Roro, Roro MVP. Roro versus Dream. Roro versus Super, I think. Is DRG's not actually here, right? No. I don't think he's actually in the studio. He might be not. actually in Korea, but he's not here. Uh, I mean, he's probably jet lagged, tired. Oh, yeah. Um. I don't think we're going to see a live. I think it has to be Super Roar Superman. Yeah. Sniper's not on point. Dream's not on point enough. Super's off of a loss, but in a different matchup. It's a good map for Zerg, though. Mm. Sniper did win against Roar already. And if they're expecting Roar, maybe Sniper feels confident enough to come out again. But I just don't. I'm not feeling it. Yeah. It's, it's a close one. It's, gonna, it's a very, very close decision here. And yeah. it could, but I'm going to stick with Dream here. I'm going to say Roar best Dream. That's my prediction. That would be awesome. I would love to see Dream. I would play love again. to see that. I think MVP has to expect Roro. It's overgrowth. It's, it's your star player. Stork lost today. I think I think it's gonna be I think it's gonna be super. I think you send out super here. Roro is really good against Protoss, of course, but Yeah. I that's just, that's another thing yeah. actually. Roro being really good against Protoss does kind of lend itself to maybe Dream or Sniper coming out. Um, actually, looking at that, like, well, <laughs> they gave him like a piece of paper. They kind of, they kind of gave it away. I think. I'm guessing it is super. <laughs> the coach That's showing not... super the uh, the ace match player. Yeah. All right. Well, I mean, that's yeah, that's that's a bit of an anti climax. Yeah, I I think we. Oh, it's going dark, guys. Who's it gonna be? 
Well, I'm not looking, regardless of who I think it's going to be. I keep, yeah. I keep my <laughs> eyes 